Hey, it's Carrie from Lovely Etc. And today I am sharing all about which furniture sealers work best and worst for black painted furniture and other dark paint colors because as it turns out, they're not all great. So a couple of weeks ago, I shared a video all about the best sealers for white furniture that will keep it from yellowing and protect the paint over time. And as I was doing that, I thought, you know, I really also want to know which sealers are best for black furniture because I'm betting I'm not the only one who paints furniture who's had the experience of painting a great black or navy piece of furniture. And then when I go to put on the sealer to protect my paint finish, it turns out all like streaky and milky looking and there, there's a white film all over my beautiful dark paint, which is absolutely not what I want. So because I'm the kind of person that wants to know everything, I decided that I also wanted to test to see which sealer works best on black paint. And that's what I'm sharing today. And unlike my test for the best sealers for white paint, I definitely did find some losers this badge. So let me tell you what I found. So this go round, I painted this old antique footboard black. It's the footboard that came with the headboard I painted last time um, that were roadside finds. And then I taped it off into eight different sections, labeled them each, and sealed each section with a different sealer. So the sealers that I'm testing this go round are Minwax Polycrylic, Verithane Water-Based Polyurethane, General Finishes High Performance Top Coat and Satin Finish, and General Finishes High Performance Top Coat in Flat Finish, Beyond Paint Multipurpose Sealer, Dixie Belle Gator Hide, Crystal Lac Ultimate Polyurethane, and Minwax Fast Drying Polyurethane, which is an oil-based sealer. Whenever you are sealing paint, but especially if you're sealing dark colors, there's a few things that you need to do to help make sure you get the best results. Make sure that you always stir your sealer really well before you start applying it. Don't shake it like you can with paint. You have to stir it to avoid air bubbles. And when you're applying it, I like to use a sponge to get a smooth surface, but whether you use a sponge or a rag or a brush, you wanna apply really thin coats of sealer. You want just enough to put a light film over your paint. And you're gonna to wanna to do at least two to three coats, very thin coats. The more sealer you build up and the thicker the coat, the more likely it is to get that filmy, milky finish over your dark paint or to yellow your light paint. So super thin coats is extremely important. And if you do those things, then your sealer should go on really well. And as long as you're using a great sealer, you're gonna have great results. So unlike my white furniture sealer test, when I was sealing the black furniture, I immediately started seeing differences between the different sealers. When I applied the first coat of sealer, I Notice that some of the sealers were leaving a little bit of streaking, a little bit of bubbling, and they weren't necessarily going on the easiest, but I tried to clean everything up as I went to make it look good, the way I would if I was painting an actual piece of furniture. But then I thought about it and I realized, this isn't really how you test things. You shouldn't have to do all this extra work to make all things equal. So for the next coat, when I applied each sealer, I just applied it the way I normally would but without going back and doing extra work to make sure that there weren't a lot of bubbles or streaks. And that's when I really saw some major differences. So let's start by talking about our problem sealers. So right here in this section, we have Verithane water-based polyurethane. And while it did pretty well, you can see the direction that I applied the sealer in a slightly stripy fashion. Definitely not what you want. Which brings us to sealer number two. So this is General Finishes High Performance Top Coat in their new Dead Flat Finish. General Finishes High Performance Top Coat is my favorite furniture sealer that I use most regularly for actual furniture painting projects. As I know black paint and matte finishes don't always get along, I thought I should really test the flat as well. And this sealer, while it does have a nice matte finish, it's even streakier than the Verithane. There are lots of grayish, stripey looking patches throughout the finish. Another problem child we had here was the Beyond Paint Multipurpose Sealer. So the Beyond Paint Multipurpose Sealer goes on a lot differently than other sealers to begin with. It's very watery and very liquidy and you need to use just the most minuscule amount when you're applying it. Overall, it doesn't have the same grayish cast that some of the other sealers have, which I hate. It does still have these stripes that you can see when the light hits it that were where the sealer overlapped as tiniest little bit as I was applying it. And as you're applying it, you can do extra work and make sure that doesn't happen. I've actually painted 
um, using black Beyond Paint before and used this exact sealer over it and I was able to get a beautiful finish. However, you shouldn't have to work extra hard to be able to get that great finish. You should be able to apply it just like any other sealer and have it work. And then finally, we also have the Minwax oil-based polyurethane. I just don't like it. <laughs> First of all, even now, I don't like how it feels. It feels oily kind of still. Not because it's not dry, it's completely dry. It's actually been three months since I first painted and sealed this headboard because I got really busy and I wanted to give the sealer time to dry and now here we are three months later. So it's not that, but it feels oily. I didn't like applying it. And it also developed kind of a really strange crystally looking effect in one corner. It almost looks like snowflakes on a window. I'm guessing that maybe the oil-based finish reacted with something. Either it wasn't cleaned well enough or something in the original finish below the paint. I don't know for sure, but it didn't go right. And honestly, while oil-based polyurethanes are great for finishing stained wood, I'm just not gonna use them for painted wood anymore because I think there's way better options out there. Which leaves us with several sealers that did do well. The Crystal Lac Ultimate Polyurethane did really well, and this is actually the worst section of the headboard because it has all these cracks in the veneer. So there was a lot of potential for bubbling or discoloration because that's, those are the types of areas where sealer can unintentionally build up into thicker layers, which is not what you want. And it still did great. Also, the Dixie Belle Gator Hide did really well. It applied well. It has a bit, I wouldn't say it's a matte finish, but it's not quite such a high shine as some of the other satin finishes, which is really nice. And it went on smoothly. The General Finishes High Performance Satin Top Coat did just as beautifully as it always does. And the Minwax Polycrylic actually also did really well. It went on smoothly. There's no graying. I did have some bubbles as I applied it, but they evened out fairly well on their own. So I'd say overall, really great. So at this point, those would be my top choices, but I want to do a couple of other quick tests just to make sure that they actually hold up. And these are going to be slightly different than the tests I did on the white paint because one, let's not make this overly boring. And two, black paint just has different problems than white paint. So I'm not worrying about staining with black paint, but I am worried about water rings that can definitely be an issue more with darker paints than lighter paints. And it's always good to make sure the paint is going to be protected. So I'm going to do a scratch test. This time, I'm not bothering with a fingernail scratch test. We're going right for the screwdriver. So I'm going to scratch each of these surfaces with a screwdriver and see what happens. All right, scratch test is done. And this time there were definitely were some results. I used a lot more pressure when I was scratching with a screwdriver this time because I wanted to really put these sealers to the test. So I'm going to say right up front, all of them showed some damage and I don't think that means they're bad sailors. Hopefully you're not going around scratching your furniture with a screwdriver and trying to gouge into it. But some did protect the furniture better than others. So after the scratch test, the sealers that showed the least amount of scratching and protected the paint and the furniture the best were the Minwax oil-based polyurethane, the Crystal Lac polyurethane, the General Finishes flat finish polyurethane, and the Verithane water-based polyurethane. So all the ones I really didn't like <laughs> originally, plus Crystal Lac. So, so far Crystal Lac's looking pretty good. All right, so next up I want to test if a glass is set on one of these sealers, is it gonna leave a water ring? All right, so I'm gonna put a glass of ice cold water on each section. And I am gonna pour a little bit of water just straight on the paint too, because why not? And as you can see, I do not have eight matching glasses. That's why I will never be Martha Stewart, amongst many other reasons. All right, so I gave it a little bit of extra time. So now it's been almost two hours and we're gonna see how this water affected the finish. Okay, so once again, we have some actual results with real winners and real losers, unfortunately. Most of the sealers showed no difference from either the water in from the glass or the water directly poured onto their surface. And once I wiped it away, it looked like it had never been there. Two sealers showed a very, very, very faint color difference. If you looked carefully in sunlight, you could see a circle where the glass had been. And those were the Beyond Paint Multi-Purpose Sealer and the Verithane Polyurethane. But again, it was very faint and it's quite possible that it would fade away as time goes on. However, there was one loser. And that was the General Finishes Dead Flat Sealer 
a very distinct water ring, a very distinct line where the water was splashed. It may be that you could further clean it and wipe those away, but who wants to do that when there's other sealer options where you don't have to? So unfortunately, the dead flat finish was again a loser in this test. Okay, and now it is time for the judgment. What sealers actually work the best on black paint and dark colors? And like I said, this time there are some clear winners and some clear losers, unfortunately. First of all, I would not recommend using General Finishes High Performance Top Coat in the Dead Flat Finish. It's a great matte finish. Doesn't work well on dark colors, unfortunately. And it pains me to say that because I love General Finishes products but I just don't think this one's good for this purpose. I also don't recommend Minwax Fast Drying Polyurethane, which is an oil-based finish. While it did hold up and give a really hard, durable finish, it just doesn't look and feel the way I want my painted furniture to look and feel. I also would not really recommend the Beyond Paint Multipurpose Sealer, even though, like I said, I've had good results with it before. It's just more difficult to use. It's more expensive than most of the other sealers, so it's not the best option. And sadly, I also wouldn't really recommend the Verithane Water-Based polyurethane just because it gave more of a streaky finish from the beginning although it was pretty durable throughout most of the test. I also would say that the Dixie Bell Gator Hide performed well but because it is one of the most expensive sealers that I tested I'm gonna say just go with something cheaper. So what would I recommend? Well based on these tests the sealer that performed the best was the Crystal Lac Polyurethane. Now to be honest, this isn't a sealer I've really used for sealing furniture before. I've only tested it to see how it does over white and black paint, so I'm definitely going to be experimenting with it more. But I will say in this test and the other one, it performed really well. It's kind of a mid-range as far as the cost, and it goes on pretty smoothly. It's easy to use. It's durable. It held up really well during the scratch test and the water test and it went on over both black and white paint, crystal clear and looking beautiful. So I'm looking forward to using it more and I definitely recommend it. I also would still recommend General Finish's High Performance Top Coat in the satin finish and really any of their other finishes I've had great success with other than the dead flat finish. It held up well, it did not do the best on the scratch test, but to be fair, I was really like gouging that screwdriver <laughs> into this paint, which is hopefully not gonna be happening in your everyday life held up great to the water test and it looked great when I applied it. And what I love about it especially is it's very easy to use. I almost never have bubbling or streaking or just anything looking weird. I apply it, it looks great, I move on. And that's what you want in a furniture sealer. And then finally, that brings us to my last recommendation, which is the Minwax Polycrylic. That is a great budget sealer. You can buy it basically anywhere from Lowe's to Walmart. So you don't even have to order it and pay for shipping and it went on smoothly, it looked good, it was pretty durable, it passed the water test. I will say in the past, I have had some trouble with it before looking milky over dark furniture, but I think if you really pay attention to using thin coats and stirring it well and really following all the best practices, you can get a great finish with it. And because of the cost and convenience, it's definitely a great option. Okay, so now that I've done these tests on sealers on white paint and black paint, I'm going to put everything I learned together with everything I know from years and years of painting furniture and make one big final recommendation post over at my website, Lovely Etc., with my picks for the absolute best sealers for painted furniture for every color and every kind. And I'll put a link to that. And if you haven't yet, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel, Lovely Etc., where I share inexpensive DIY ideas for creating a home that you love.